Hey folks, after a chilly start, temperatures warmed up a little bit today. These are our current readings in the 60s valley-wide, but we started in the 50s this morning. It took all day to get up to these numbers. 66 in McAllen right now, 61 at the island. Our overnight lows tonight will be back in the 50s, even 40s in a number of places as the clouds kind of thicken up as we go through the nighttime hours. Remember, we've reached our lows right around dawn. So you wake up in the morning. This is what the readings will be looking like. And then as the day goes on, we warm up a little bit, still not that much, close to 70 across the area, but the clouds are going to thicken up. Easterly winds about 8 to 16 during the daytime tomorrow. So a mild day after a chilly start, not that different than what we saw today. The normal high now for mid to late January is 71 and tomorrow probably won't make it. But Wednesday we're at 72 and look at Thursday up to 81 degrees. That'll be a short lived warm up though. We'll be cooler again on Friday courtesy of a front that will come in during the day on Thursday. We've been in and out of the clouds today. They're certainly thicker in the western part of the valley than the east right now. You move to the east, there's some nice breaks over the eastern half of the area. But overnight tonight, I think the clouds really will thicken up because our wind flow which has been primarily in most levels of the atmosphere out of the north most of the day. Tomorrow will come out of the east, and that just brings a lot of moisture in. You bring enough moisture in, you get clouds, and eventually those clouds lead to some showers. And it looks like we could see some activity around during the daytime on Wednesday. Now, the models continue to show spotty showers over the valley, the biggest rain staying just to the north. You can see some yellow up there in the corner of the picture. I think there's a good chance for some heavier rain north of the valley here. It's just spotty stuff on and off. Not an all day rain event by any means, but at least scattered showers around. By the time we get to 11 o'clock Wednesday night, most of it's out of here, just lingering along the coast. Then we go into Thursday and a cool front sweeps through. The cool air behind this front is way behind it. So the wind will shift. It'll clear the skies out during the daytime Thursday. We'll still warm up probably up into the 80s, like we showed you, about 81. And then the cooler air will build in behind it, so Friday will likely be a cooler day. Now, rain chances, we don't see much tomorrow, but as we go forward tomorrow night into Wednesday, that's our best chance. Then it tapers back off by Thursday and Friday. Rest of South Texas, 61 in San Antonio, 58 in Del Rio. Houston is 60, it's 54 in Dallas. Cooler temperatures on the map, but none of them here. All the cool weather staying well away from us. Right now, the front's on the map not getting here. We do see some cold stuff coming into the panhandle. But warm front moves away, gives us that rain chance Wednesday, and after that, rain chance moves out pretty quickly. Travel plans, let's check it out. Tomorrow morning, 42 in San Antonio, 37 in Houston to start the day, 34 in Amarillo. They climb to the 40s. That's it as the rain increases. We climb into the upper 60s. So your first one five accurate with a forecast for tonight, 49 as the clouds thicken up. Close to normal, a little bit below in some places. And then tomorrow back to 69 degrees, mainly cloudy and cool. Easterly winds out about 8 to 16. 69, 72, 81, then we drop back to 72. A little cooler in time for the weekend. By Sunday into Monday, a slight chance of shower shows up again. But for tomorrow, just mostly cloudy and a high of 69. That's your updated First One 5 AccuWeather forecast. We'll be back right after the break.